Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome to another episode of FTL, Faster Than Light. Now, if you'd like to skip straight to the action, you can click the button right about here, right about now. It'll take you right there. If you'd like to listen to our ship choices, however, fantastic, and let's get straight to that. So here we go with a new game. We are going to be playing in the Zoltan Cruiser Type B today. So let's name this puppy, and let's get right to it. And then the, the reason we're picking the name we're picking is because it looks so strange. This is a ship that can't make it, its mind on its color palette. We've got yellow, we've got green, some teal, some red, some purple, some orange. So, we're going to pick a name that represents that. This is going to suddenly become the VSS Artistry. There we go. And our three Zoltan crew members are going to be renamed. So we have here Dolly and Picasso. Picasso. And number three can be Claude Monet. There we go. So between Dolly, Picasso, and Monet, we have our crew all picked out. So let's talk a little bit about what makes this ship so interesting. And there are a couple things indeed. First of all, there's the fact that you start off with three Zoltans, so we're going to need to be moving them around to power our ship, because we're not going to have enough power to start with. To add to that, the ship starts with a Zoltan shield, so we do have five shots of impenetrability, but we also have no starting shield. Only having one bar means we need to get at least a hundred scrap before we actually activate that first bar of shields. Not exactly ideal, but that is how we are, so that's what we got. Now on the other hand, we also have a fairly interesting arsenal of weaponry. We have a pair of ion blasts and a pike beam. If we stagger our ion blasts, we can take down shields no problem and then pike beam them into the ground. But it does mean we have very little punching power, so we can't do a whole lot of damage to one room in one go. We'll have to see how it goes. Now, this ship has an interesting layout, with fairly easy access to deoxygenate any particular rooms based on these airlocks here, here, and here. It's got kind of a fishbone design with a head up here and a skeleton at the back, which is kind of cool. And, last thing to talk about is the fact that the achievements needed to unlock it. We have shields holding for destroying a ship before it gets to the Zoltan shield, which is fairly easy as long as you can knock out their weapons on an unshielded drone. That shouldn't be too hard. Given her all she's got, Captain, for having 29 power and systems at the same time is surprisingly difficult because it means you have to have 29 power available to go into systems as well as having 29 power in those systems. And manpower for getting the Sector 5 without upgrading our reactor is a fairly interesting challenge, and if you watch our video on the Type A, you can see exactly how it goes. Anyway, that's quite enough chit-chat about our ship. It's about time we got started. So we're playing on normal as always, and let's jump straight in. Alright, here we are. The data we carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. We'll need supplies for the journey, so we'll need to make sure we explore everywhere we can before moving on. And we'll need to get to the exit before those rebels can catch us. Let's move people about a little bit. Picasso, you're heading over to the weapons. Monet, you're heading over to the engines. Let us power down the medbay, power up the weapons to full, and we are pretty much as good as we could possibly be right now. This ship has its full selection of problems, but if we can get it powered up a little bit more, it will be a force to be reckoned with. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Our sensors are picking up a single life form, so we decide to go down to the surface to investigate what's up. We find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked. While exploring the devastation, we find a lone survivor. We can invite him to join us or take him home to his family on a nearby planet, but we might as well invite him to join us because we only have three crew. He happily offers his services for a time in exchange for getting off that rock. It is Charlie the Mantis. Well, Charlie, you are going to be our new helmsman for whatever reason because we need our Zoltan in places they can do more good than that. Unfortunately, we don't really have anywhere we can put more power into at the moment, so it's not entirely useful, but why not? Alright, the nearby planet shows signs of habitation and great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its message into space, saying, Warning, quarantine level 5 in effect under FHA Article 22, Article 11.2, warning. So let's not head there to visit. I get a feeling that would probably be not be the best plan. So, what have we here? Ooh. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it is hiding military goods. Let's attack and steal what they've got. They have a lot of bombs, that's what they got. Let's ion out their shields, and we'll keep them locked down with the second ion. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to hit them with the weapons with the second ion. Rather than locking down the shields, let's turn on auto-fire as well. 
If we can keep some of those bombs offline, that's probably the best thing we could do for ourselves. Fire across here. It's an ion bomb, too? Seriously? That's definitely cheating. Definitely cheating. That laser's gonna hurt us in a second. We're not gonna be able to interrupt it, I don't think. No, we cannot interrupt it. It hits us for two damage in an empty room, so it's not quite as bad as it could have been. Pike Beam, kill these guys off, please. Thank you kindly. Down goes the Rebel's ship. We get 18 scrap, and when we investigate the station, we find that it was either abandoned or stripped clean. There's nothing there. Well, that's not ideal. Let's power up our engines again, put our spare power in there, and keep on a jumping. Because we gotta keep moving forwards. What do we have at this station? We see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones who offer to repair us despite not knowing who we are. But we don't need that many repairs, we need our money much more. So we're gonna keep moving and hope we get some more of that. Gotta gain scrap. Alright, we arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings crushed between two rocks. They must have been illegally mining, so we decide to carefully cut them out with our beam weaponry. Zzzt. We use our beams to make a few precision cuts in the asteroid, and the ship thrusts out. They thank us and offer us two missiles, a drone part, and 14 scrap from the resources they've collected. Well, no problem there, pirates. You got lucky this time. Let's head over towards the exit and we'll jump around near there. What do we have here? Once we arrive, our screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate has tried to hack our engines. We manage to keep them barely operational and move in for the kill. Okay. Can I, if, I, if I stick another NG in there, I mean, another, another uh. Let's send Dolly into that room. What happens if we send Dolly into the engines? Will that repower them? No, it does not. Okay, when they're hacked, you cannot force power them by sending a Zoltan in. That's a little bit disappointing, but I suppose it's fair. Here comes a rocket. That's going to hurt in a second. Yes, it did. Okay, we got to really take them out fast. So we're going to fire our lasers right up all those core systems. Zzzt. There we go. Turned off everything except for the missile, which is not entirely ideal, but it does mean we can block the missile without any fear of taking damage, and it should take longer for it to charge up again than it should for us to fire and kill them. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Down they go with the pike beam. Zzzt. With the pirate ship destroyed, our engines come back online, we salvage two fuel and twelve scrap from the debris, and move onwards. Alright. Jump. Let's see if we can't make enough money for that second shield bar. We're immediately contacted by a settlement on arrival at this beacon. Hello, travelers! Your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Care to take up a bit of mercenary work? We agree to listen to their offer, and learn that some of their friends have taken to piracy in the chaos of the war. They want us to convince them of their poor decision by severely damaging their ship. They offer to pay us well as long as we don't kill them. We accept the offer. Unfortunately, they're also Zoltans. We're going to have to get through their shield while they're getting through ours. Just be sure not to blow them up, they say, as they direct us to a nearby moon. As we arrive, they threaten us, so we decide to go in for the attack. Alright, hit them with the ion weaponry as quickly as possible for the first salvo, because there's no reason to wait on those first shots. It's not like you can stun out anything out at that point. Here come some more lasers. These guys have a lot of heavy weaponry. Here comes the first shot, and knocks out the important system, so we can... Fry them with our pike beams. And they immediately surrender, saying, You win! We're not cut out for this! We offer to let them live and return to the settlement. With the pirates dissuaded from their career path, we return and they thank us for what we've done. They The people we saved have offered us breach missiles as well as 12 scrap. And that is a valuable thing to sell. Probably not something we're going to use, but certainly something we will sell. That gives us another 40 scrap that puts us way closer to buying that shield bar we need. Here we find a ship refueling station offering to sell us fuel, but we need to keep our money as much as possible, so we're only going to buy three fuel for six scrap. Thank you for offering us fuel at such cheap prices. We jump onwards again. We should get all of our jumps in here, no problem. What do we have here? We find a ship with pirate markings orbiting the nearby planet. We receive their hail and agree to fight them for the right price. The right price has any amount of scrap at all. Mercenaries are, of course, worse than rebels, so we decide to get rid of these ones. We're going to split our ion blasts to hit shields and weaponry, because if we can knock one of those lasers out, they're not going to be hitting us for a while. And we will pike beam right across the core of their ship. It will take another whole salvo to kill them, but in the meantime, they won't be able to fix their oxygen or their weapons or their engines, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Keep firing there, guys. Everything should be just fine. Oh, they got their shields up? We must have missed a shot there. That was terrible timing. 
That's the problem with auto fire. I should probably take the pike beam off auto fire, honestly. Otherwise, this is going to happen. It will be annoying. Alright, hit him with the iron weapon. Yeah, see, it would have just happened again. Fire right across those rooms, and they offer to surrender, offering us six fuel, two drone carts, and ten scrap. That's a pretty decent surrender, honestly, at this part of the game. But I think we're not going to accept. We want to get a little bit more scrap at this point. We need all the scrap we can get, really. Alright, we can afford to take the second ion off the weapons now, I think. Put it on the shields. Make sure we lock those systems down, and our pike beam can take them out with the greatest of ease. And down they go. Nice try, suckers. The slug interceptor goes down, leaving behind two fuel, two missiles, and 13 scrap. So, not much better, but it's marginally improved, so we might as well take it for what we can. Do we have the time to make this jump? I'm not entirely sure. I think, if we try it, we will be just on the verge. So let's jump and see what we have to do. We have to fight off some rebels here, so be it. Here we find intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. We can't find any match for them in the database, however, so we choose to investigate. We land in a small shuttle in an enormous field, whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what our scans picked up? It's possible, but I don't think it's likely. Let's try to communicate with them and see if we can't find anything out. Unfortunately, despite our communications in every possible way, they just stand there, silently judging us with their large, expressionless eyes. Well, thanks for nothing, horse people. So we get for not enslaving you. Let's head back over to the exit and get out of here. Looks like I was right, we are just in time. We arrive at a long-range beacon where we discover an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. We intervene to defend. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage us. And they have ion weaponry, so that's not good at all. We're gonna hit them in the shields and the weapons. Pardon me, just like last time. And when our pike beam is charged, we're gonna fire it right across the core of their ship, knocking out all of their major systems. If we can knock out the ion blast, that'd be magnificent. Yeah, oh no, we did not knock out the ion weapon. That's not good for us. That is a full full wipe of our systems. Alright, let's fire right across here. Give them something to think about. There we go. Not gonna be doing any damage to us for a while now, are you? We should be able to hold them in a standstill here until we can eventually kill them with a pike beam. In about another six or seven seconds. Four, three, two, one. There we go. And they are defeated. Nothing, no problems here. The ship breaks apart and we gather two missiles, a drone part, and another nine scrap. The outpost hails us as well, thanking us for the help, saying they've been harassed non-stop by those rebel scouts. They offer us two missiles, a drone part, and another 15 scrap. Fantastic. Our choices here are an uncharted nebula, which would be a terrible idea given we have very little power to begin with, and a civilian sector. So, a civilian sector it is. If we get stuck in an ion storm, we are in a whole world of trouble, so we're going to stay away as much as possible. We found our new sector and have to get to the exit beacon once again. Well, no surprise there. We're gonna... Oh, I don't want to go into the nebula, but there's no way to get around it. There's no way around this side. I don't think we can reach that jump. So we're gonna have to go at least partly through the nebula. Hopefully we don't find any ion storms, because that would teach me. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge, so we decide to explore. Unfortunately, the asteroid field proved more dangerous than we expected. Some asteroids somehow managed to get through our ship's defenses, despite the fact that we have a very powerful Zoltan shield. I don't know what that's all about. What is down here? Anything useful? A fight from the sounds of it. By the time we notice a rebel ship behind the beacon, it's too late to avoid them, so we have to do battle. As long as they don't have attack drones, we should be okay. Attack drones wreck this ship. Absolutely wreck it. We can hit them with the first ion blast and the second ion blast and the weapons before this laser fires. No, not, no luck there, but we did knock out the heavy laser, which should give us some leeway. Now, as long as we wait for our laser to recharge here... There we go. Now we can hit them with a pike beam right up the core of the ship, like so. Fire. And that should keep them pretty much out of commission until we can take them down with the second salvo. Since it does hit five rooms, having five health remaining is not a problem. And they will probably be repairing fairly quickly, because I believe they have a repair drone in there, which should be alright. But we can kill them before that happens. They send us a message, telling us that our ship is surprisingly well equipped, and offering us two fuel, a missile, and twelve scrap in order to let them live. But I'm looking for a little bit more remuneration than that, so we do not accept their surrender. We take them down in a blaze of laser, and what do we get? Ooh, that's much better. The ship explodes, giving us a fuel, a drone part, and twenty-three scrap. That means we have enough money now to buy the upgrade for our shields, but not quite enough power to actually power them. So we might as well hold on to the money for now. Or we can put it in the slot, but we're not going to be able to use it yet. 
Let's send Dally over to the system. Even though, oh no, I can't do that. I really don't have the power for it at all. We have to have him in here, otherwise we can't power our weapons, which are fairly key to our survival. We have a distress beacon right beside us, so let's check out what they want. Hello. We locate the source of the distress call, a nearby human mining colony which is being harassed by a deadly disease. We decide to send in our crew to help control the crowds. Hopefully we get lucky here and we don't have any bad outcomes. Uh, Alright, our crew tries to keep the crowds in line, but the scene quickly turns ugly. Half crazed with fear, the infected grab mining tools and push back at our crew, forcing us to retreat hastily. We barely get away without injury, but the same can't be said for the colony's leaders. We quickly leave. At least we got away unharmed, even though the colony's leaders probably just got lynched. What do we have here? It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of our passing. Well, that's alright. They just power up their FTL drive to get away, unfortunately, and they do have an attack drone. This is definitely not ideal for us. Let's hit them with some ion weaponry, and then hopefully knock out their drone controls. If that thing's online, we are going to get hurt bad. Go, go, lasers. Alright, the drone is offline, temporarily, which should give us a second or two of leeway in order to hit them right across here. No! Oh, that was close. That was close. We are now taking damage, however, so we are in trouble. We need to knock out those with the ion blasts. Otherwise, we are going to wind up very dead. Keep hitting them. Keep hitting them. I'm scared here. This is a scary, scary fight. We just got hit in the weapons, which means our pike beam is offline. Damn it. Alright, we can't have the pike beam offline. We have to have the Pike Beam here, otherwise we will die. We're taking more hits. Pike Beam takes forever to charge, too, so that's a real jerk move from the game's part. Because <sighs> there's nothing I can do about that. We're not hitting the helms, we can't dodge. Come on, game! Hang on, hang on, hang on, Pike Beam. Don't waste yourself. I need you to hit them, otherwise we lose this fight. And they ran away. Fantastic. The scout jumps away, informing the fleet of our position, and we're also blind and on fire, so that's not good. Get out of there, Monet. You're gonna die. Our engine's burned up. Magnificent. In case you couldn't tell, I'm not too impressed with that, because there's no reason for that. That kind of firepower is just cruel at this point in the game. I need, like, 15 scrap before we can compete. But until we get it, there's literally nothing we can do here. Alright, Dolly, you don't get to be in the helm. Monet, you're heading over here. Where's that fire burning? I can't see anything, so I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Alright, vent out more of the ship. You can go heal up there, Picasso, again. Head back over to your system. Monet, you're gonna chill out over here. Dolly, you can come over here. We're still waiting for everything to burn itself out. The worst part is, if we hadn't had our pike beam in the wrong slot there, we probably would have been fine. Vent the oxygen back into the ship. Good. And we will send two of our Zoltan, we'll send Dolly over, and Monet over to go fix the damage. Alright, guys. That was a poor showing. Poor, poor showing. We have to do better than that if we want to live. Our breach missiles here are powerful, but we're not going to be using them because they take too much power for this part of the game for us to be practical with them. We'll send Dolly back to his station as soon as the repairs are completed. There we go. Alright, Dolly, back out of that room, please. Power in the, in the engines. Once you get back in the weapons, more power in the engines. And let's jump. So, we get out of the nebula where things are not cool. Here we are. We detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. The weapons are charged, but they're not yet firing, so we decide to intervene and defend. Here we go. The rebels respond to our threats, saying they don't know who we are, but no one defies them. They move in to engage us with a beam drone. This is just like bad luck central. What is up with this? Alright, so they'll fry us a couple times. We have to hit them with an ion blast in the drone bay very quickly. Hit them, hit them, hit them, otherwise we're dead here. Nope, we're gonna die. Alright, nothing we can do. They blasted at our engines, we're gonna pike beam them up in the middle of there. There we go, good hit! We knocked out most of their firepower. Hit them in the weapons with the ion blast, please! Keep those systems offline, because they are killing us here. And we will pike beam them to death as soon as possible. Although, we have a mantis trying to do repairs at the moment, so that's probably not gonna go well. Down goes the enemy nonetheless. There we go. The ship breaks apart and we salvage 3 fuel, the drone part, and 22 scrap from them. The outpost hails us, thanking us for the, for the savior, and offering us 3 fuel and 23 scrap as well. Marvelous. That's enough to power up the shield. Done. See, if we had had that 10 seconds ago, we would have been a lot better off. 
But we've done it now, which is the important part. So, we'll send Dolly over to help repair the helm. I don't know if he'll need to be there, because the Mantis should have it in time. Nope, he got there just in time to help. You hunt back over to those shields now. You have your own station, Dolly. Congratulations. Charlie, you really don't fit our theme of famous artists. But then again, new crew never do. Power up the med bay and get you all healed up. There you go. Get out of there. Power back into the engines. It's too bad we couldn't have had that shield a little bit earlier, but now that we've got it, we can at least make use of it. Let's jump here, and then we'll jump to the store to sell our breach missiles. What have we here? Upon completing our jump, we receive a message from a nearby ship saying, Greetings and welcome to the beacon. They also offer to let us go if we pay them some money, but we don't agree to pay them, so we're going to fight them instead. Yes, we are. They have a fire beam and a burst laser. No, it's a basic laser, isn't it? Yes, it is. So this should not be much of a problem. Bzzzt. Bzzzt. Ah, uh, both of those hit the shields. Whatever. Fire beam won't be able to get through on its own, so we should be more or less okay here to fry them with our lasers and knock their weapons out that way. Done and done. Move the ion beams around. Ion blasts around. We're going to pike them through their core systems again. Like so. Zzzt. And they try and surrender, offering us two fuel, the drone part, and 13 scrap. We will not accept that. Thank you very much. We're here for blood. We're here to kill them. We could just wait out now. They can't fix their oxygen or their engines, so they can't get away. But they would. Hang on. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's just ion blast the weapons until they die. <laughs> it's an evil, evil strategy. But it might actually be very effective, because there's nothing they can do about it. Oh, they fixed their shields. So there's something they can do about it. Just not a whole lot. Because we can keep stunning them. They will be repairing them fairly quickly, though, so it's possible that this won't work out for the best for us. But if it does start to look grim, we can always pike beam them to death again. We've got two clicks left on our Zoltan shields, as well as the additional power bar from having a single shield. So we are fairly well protected here, as long as things don't suddenly go awry. Two shots went straight in, hit the weapons. They are slowly suffocating in there, but there's no hull breaches, so there's no real quick drain on their oxygen supply. It's going to take them a while before they actually suffocate out. But we're doing a pretty good job of locking their weapons down, so as far as it goes, we might actually be able to do this without too much more trouble. Not the most thrilling thing in the world to watch, but it is effective nonetheless. We can just chill out here and torture these guys and watch them suffocate from a distance. If we had the ability to see what was going on in their ship with some upgraded radar, it would be a lot more interesting. We could see how much longer we'd have to wait, most likely. But as it stands, we have to take our own chances here. All we know is they can't run. There we go, there are no more life signs remaining on the ship. We gathered three fuel, missile, and 28 scrap. And job done. So, let's jump to that store and sell off our breach missiles. Because that will put us a lot better off. The space station here is a traveling merchant who shows us his wares. Marvelous. Let's sell him a breach missile for 35 scrap. Not quite 40 like I thought it was, but not bad either. Offering some breach bombs and fire bombs, and hey, those are the missiles I just sold you. We could try and buy some of this stuff. We don't quite have the resources, so let's repair some of our hull up to 15. We don't want to spend too much on it because we want to keep buying upgrades as much as possible. And what else can we buy here? We could buy another layer of shields, which would be a very helpful thing to have indeed. It's going to take us a little bit longer before we can power them as well, but we can take power to the engines and power it up right now. For the time being, we're going to take the power back out of there and leave it in there, since we have our Zoltan shield. Until that's worn off, then we might as well power up the other shields. We have what looks like one, two, three, four, five, maybe six jumps left, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Probably the best way to make any use of it. And we jumped into a sun. That's unfortunate. We arrive at the beacon to find ourselves dangerously close to a star. An automated rebel ship impervious to the heat moves in to engage us. The jerks. So let's hit them in the shields and power up our shields, most likely. Keep our evasion on now, since we have our Zoltan shield up, like I was saying. Unfortunately, we missed our first shot, and they missed only one of theirs. So it's not ideal. But we should be able to pike beam them in a second. And no, we missed again. Really, game? There we go. Now we hit them. So we can pike beam them right through those rooms. Zzzt. Now they're a lot less dangerous, although they are still quite dangerous. 
We can power up our shield to level 2 in a second, and that should protect us against the Solar Flare. Although I'm not entirely sure about that either. Let's see if we can't knock out their weapons as well as their shields. There we go. Now our Pike Beam should be able to do the job. We are going to quickly power up level 2 shields to make sure we don't get hit as hard by the fire. Oh, that was pretty hard hit though. And we Pike Beam them to make sure they stay dead. Alright, problem solved. The ship explodes, leaving behind a fuel, drone part in 21 scrap, and we are just going to vent these rooms. Actually, we'll vent one of these rooms. We'll vent the shield room. Get it out of there. We don't have enough power to power both anyway, so there's no reason to keep it in there. And we might as well put it out if we can before the next flare happens. Put it out. Put it out. Put it out. Don't put more fire in here, please. Excuse me. I want you to put the fires out. There we go. Close those doors. Vent the heat internally, the oxygen internally, and send Dolly back to his station. They're a little bit damaged, but they should be okay as long as we don't run into anything particularly dangerous at the next beacon, which is of course going to be a distress beacon at the current time. Although maybe... no, we'll go one, two, three, four most likely. Jump to the distress beacon and see what's over here. Just dodging a solar flare. We find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station where we arrive. We hail them asking what's wrong and find out they're being overrun by giant alien spiders. However, despite our desire to help, we have to leave them alone. As much as it would be, as, much, blah, 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 as nice as it would be to help them, we can't afford to risk our crew at this point. We'll have to leave them alone. Sorry there, guys. We're prepared to jump. All right, now we can actually heal up. It's too bad that wasn't something we can actually do something with, but sometimes you got to deal with what you got to deal with. Get in there and repair the shields, get in there and heal yourselves, and we should be good to move on. It would be lovely if we could move Charlie out of the helm and get him ready to do some damage, but well, I guess we'll have to stick with what we've got for now, stick with our guns. Alright, so Dolly, you're going to level up your shields incredibly slowly because Zoltan shields don't count. You only gain level up points when the main shields recharge, so that's going to be a little while, I suspect. Buy another power bar, stick it in the engines, and jump on the roads. What have we at this beacon? We have a lovely looking planet, which has a small NG research vessel nearby. As we arrive, we find a mantis ship that was being fended off, and as we arrive even closer, the mantis retreat. The NG offer us an anti-ship dream beam drone 1, as well as 14 scrap to thank us. Well, that would be lovely, especially because that's the kind of drone we hate on every other ship, but we will accept it happily. We have just enough time to make two more jumps. That's a lot of stars, holy cow. That's weird. A settlement still loyal to the Federation hails our ship. They have prepared a weapon to aid our escape from the Rebels. They offer us 10 scrap and a healing burst. That's not exactly the best thing for us, but thanks, guys. I can't say no to free items. We can always sell them. That's a lot of stars. Seriously, holy stars, Batman. Alright, let's jump to the exit and make our way to safety. Here we are. We've arrived at a long-range beacon where we discover a missile firing across our bow. Our scans reveal a pirate ship chasing an unknown vessel. The pirate says, Damn it! We weren't expecting company! Stay out of this and you could profit! But who are we to back down to a pirate? So we attack them, trying to save the people they were chasing. They stop their pursuit and log weapons on us. So, we're gonna ion blast him in the shields, and then ion blast him in the weapons, hopefully taking that monstrosity offline. The beam, drawn, beam laser isn't much better, but this thing could do a lot more damage if we're unlucky. Also, we missed. That's not so good. Alright. There goes all of our Zoltan shields. Good thing we have level 2 normal shields. And we're going to fry across their rooms. There we go, that's more like it. Now all they have is the beam drone, which can't hurt us. A beam laser, which can't hurt a beam laser. Mini beam, which can't hurt us anyway. So we can calmly relax here while our systems fry them. And there we go, one more fry should do it. However, they say that their previous offer was not generous enough, and this time they offer us 6 fuel, 5 missiles, and 15 scrap. That's a pretty good bribe, honestly. Pretty good bribe. The fuel would be very nice. The missiles, not so much, but the fuel would be very nice. So we're going to accept that, just because on the premise of the fuel. 6 fuel would cost about 18 scrap to buy, the missiles would cost even more. So I think for once, we're going to accept their offer. We'll accept their more generous bribe. Although that was a stupid choice. I forgot I was chasing someone, and I could have scrapped the people they were chasing. Ah oh well, sometimes you make the dumb mistakes. That's alright, you just gotta keep moving forward. Power up the engines, and... The money will be nice anyway, and the fuel will be nice anyway. Even though we could have gotten more. Herp. Herp -a derp -a derp derp -a derp -a derp -a derp We're buying that power bar for the engine, and next all we have to do is power it. 
let's jump out of the sector and we can go to the rock controlled sector or Zoltan homeworlds well we're the Zoltan we have to go to our own homeworlds let's go say hi to the folks and then see what else we can do the Zoltan patrol their borders but let us pass when we are clearly Zoltan let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels now Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing FTL on board the VSS Artistry with Dolly, Picasso, and Monet. If you've enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.